is Randall Englenda with KarabagaTraining.com and in this video I'm going to teach the Superman Punch. The uh, Superman Punch isn't a required technique in the Krav curriculum as far as I know or at least not as of this date that we're recording this video. However, I do teach this uh, particular technique as one of many techniques in our fight class because we're all about, I don't care where it comes from, whether it's a Krav technique or not, if it works we use it. And I've had some of my students uh, uh, ask me to make a video on this so that way they can practice it on their own and, and make sure they're doing it correctly. Alright, so this is what the super round punch is if you haven't learned this before. The scenario is that I'm far enough away that I'm more of a more of a kicking range like this, not at a punching range. So the nice thing about the superman punch is I can close this gap and still hit the person. And it works really well off of throwing a kick to fake the person out. So maybe I've thrown a front kick to the groin, a front kick to the stomach, maybe I've low kick here. When I catch people trying to grab my leg, they're bringing their hands down to either block it or try to grab my leg, that's the best time to superman punch them because you can come over the top, punch them in the face while their hands are down. Anyways, that's just the, how you would actually use it and apply it, but let me actually cover the, the technique now. So this is how it works, is I'm going to take my back leg, I'm going to pick it up. I can pick it straight up like this to make the guy think I'm doing a front kick, or I can bring it up off to the side to make the guy think I'm doing more of a round kick. It doesn't really matter. The person sees that leg, I see them dropping a the hand down to protect against that, that's, when, that's how we set them up. So like this. As I'm doing that, I'm going to keep this knee bent, my base knee bent like this so it's in a position that I can jump off of it. As this knee comes up, I'm going to use the momentum of that knee raise to push off of this foot and skip in. Now when I'm jumping off my left foot, notice I'm landing on my left foot. So it's, it's a hop. Hop being the definition of you jump off of one foot, you land on the same foot. Now, as I'm doing that, my torso is going to lean forward slightly and I'm going to throw a cross with my right hand like this. So the timing being when this foot lands on the ground, that's not going to be making an impact on the pack. As I'm doing that, oftentimes, as your arms extending out, the other leg will naturally kick back a little bit to counterbalance. The more you lean forward, the more you'll probably feel your leg counterbalance out. Like this. Now the biggest thing is, when you jump, it's not even really jump, it's more of a, like you're sliding in. I want to keep my head as level as possible. I don't want to jump up nice and high and come down with a punch like this. When you're up in the air too long, you're too vulnerable. The guy can move out of the way, the wrestler they can shoot under that and take you down. They have too much time to see it coming. I want to keep my head level relatively low, so notice how my left foot, when I jump off it, barely leaves the ground. It's like, here's the ground, comes off the ground and just kind of glides across it and goes back down. It's not this big jump like this, it's like that. And obviously the distance of that just depends on how far the target is away. As far as away, it can be a bigger jump. It's relatively close. It can be a quick jump. And once you get comfortable doing this on the cross side, you technically can do it on the jab side as well. Kick this leg up, fake a front kick, fake a round kick, push off my back leg, throw the jab. I usually recommend doing the cross side first when it's easier, it's a little more powerful. Once you get good at that, then you can do it on the jab side as well. This is one of those techniques I don't throw all the time. I just throw it occasionally, maybe once per round. Like I said, when I catch the person, when I'm throwing a lot of low kicks, or kicks survive, I catch them dropping their hands a lot. That's when I throw it. Let's, let's demonstrate that. Can I just put the mid off to the set this? So we're in a fighting stance? Okay. So I catch one, they drop their hands, make sure not well trained. And there it is. I'm punching her over the top of her guard. Okay, so that's a Superman punch. Uh, thanks for watching.